Hi, I'm Jeff Chu, executive producer for Legends of Runeterra. We have so much planned for the rest of this year and a lot of exciting news to get to. What? Oh, sorry about that. This is Chip. Okay, okay, fine. Before I get to the new stuff, Chip thinks that I need to talk about some big things that have happened since the beginning of the year, like the Sentinels of Light event. This marks the very first time Riot has launched an event and a new champion across multiple games at the same time. A huge step up for both Riot and Legends of Runeterra. If you're enjoying it, then stay tuned. We hope to bring you more events like this in the future. Also, the team's breakout success story of this year has been Lab of Legends. Labs have always been, well, experiments, figuring out what works and what doesn't. And we've heard you loud and clear. We're excited to continue supporting and evolving this game mode. In fact, here's Exus with a sneak peek at what that looks like. Hey folks, I'm Exus, head of the Labs team for Legends of Runeterra. It's been a few months since we introduced Lab of Legends, and we're still seeing tons of players power up their decks to put an end to Victor's schemes. We think the mode has a ton of potential, and it's time to push it even further. So our next big experiment is a PvE mode that expands on the original premise, bringing the crazy power and item combos of Lab of Legends to a brand new adventure with RPG-style power progression, map exploration, and a bunch of new challenges to discover. You'll arrive in Bilgewater as Twisted Fate, Misfortune, or Tom Kench. Make your way across the map, picking fights, unearthing buried treasure, and spending hard-earned gold as you swashbuckle your way towards a final showdown with Gangplank. Just like in the original lab, you'll fight a variety of enemies, each with their own special power. But this time, enemies have levels, and you'll get experience for defeating them. Gain enough experience and you'll level up, growing even stronger for future battles with new powers of your own and item-infused cards for your deck. Now you'll be able to try the new lab by the end of the summer, but like Jeff said, this is really just the beginning. We're gonna keep adding more features, maps, and unique encounters in future updates as we learn what players like most about the new mode. So be sure to test it out and tell us what you think. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Yip, Game Director for Legends of Runeterra. We're excited to bring you all of that new Lab of Legends content, but I suspect you're also wondering about the next set and final region to join Lore in August, so let's get after it. It's the region that's everywhere and nowhere, full of magic, whimsy, mischief, and lots of yours. We're going to Bandle City! And beyond the Bandlewood, we'll journey through portals with yordles and meet tons of champions across all of Runeterra. Wherever their curiosity leads, they'll discover new friends and reconnect with old ones along the way. Keep an eye out for the tricksters, though, and maybe pull a few pranks of your own. Now, just because this is the final region doesn't mean that your favorite champions from Ixtal, The Void, or other parts of Runeterra aren't coming to lore. It just means that when they do, they'll rep the existing in-game region that makes the most sense for them. I'm also really excited to tell you about an extra November expansion that'll follow Beyond the Bandlewood, bringing you a major PvE event unlike anything we've tried before. So that means we'll be dropping four total expansions for this set, not just three. You can expect that our December expansion, plus the one after, continue the Bandle City story, featuring a little more content than usual. The team can't wait to share all the cool stuff they've been working on for 2021 and beyond. We're still refining our live patch plans, and we'll provide a separate update once we have it. Regardless of whether you love Ranked or Lab of Legends, we want to make sure you always have the best experience in Legends of Terra. Now here's Jeff to wrap things up. Wow, Bandle City, huh? Timo has come a long way since his days as a napkin doodle. They grew up so fast. Now, before I sign off, I want to remind you all that the Legends of Runeterra World Championships are coming up. It's truly a celebration of the most skilled competitive players who have been climbing the leaderboard and dominating seasonal tournaments since launch and we're looking forward to watching the best of the best battle it out on the board. Tune in from September 15th through the 18th to watch it kick off and cheer on your favorite players. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in Bandle City in August.